We are continuing to follow a developing story out of Monona where one person is dead after a car crashed into a nearby lagoon. Medicine Rio spent the day talking with neighbors in the area who saw the scene unfold. She has you covered on the question witnesses still have about the crash. The car crashed right into this lagoon behind me here, and the person who died was inside of that car. Now I'm standing right where crews were working to get that car and the person out of the water. But there's one part of this investigation that even witnesses still have questions about. Michael McQuaid woke up around 2 a.m. to crews responding to the scene in his backyard. McQuaid walked us through his yard and showed us where first responders entered the lagoon to try and save the person in the water. Right here. Right in the middle is where the car was, upside down. I think that plastic bag is from the car. There's a toothbrush in the water, maybe a jacket under there too. But it's sad because, you know, there is nothing that could be done at that point. One thing McQuaid still has questions about is where and how the car entered the water. You know, there's a fence along the sidewalk that's still intact, so I'm kind of puzzled as to how the car wound up in the water. McQuaid pointed out an area where the city comes to mow, and over on this edge is what appears to be the cover of an engine, almost as if the car landed here at some point. However, as of right now, officials have not confirmed this. The cause of the crash is still under investigation, although Monona Police Department says there is no suspicion of foul play at this time. Reporting in Monona, Madison Rios, 27 News.